Okay, as you know, or may not know, Avid cripples the installers so they do not work on new Mac OS systems. So if you have an older version of Pro Tools, you'll be stuck on your version of Mac operating system. You won't be able to upgrade, which can lead to some problems. So in this video, we're going to learn to install Pro Tools on Mac OS Mojave and it works on High Sierra and Sierra 2. Work with older version of Pro Tools. This video is Pro Tools 12.5.2. Save money and upgrade costs when you just need Pro Tools to work. Okay, launch the terminal app. We're going to make sure we're in the home directory. So change directory, tilde, home. We're going to make a directory called installer. Then we're going to change to the installer directory. We're going to use the package util, pkg util, and we're going to expand the original Pro Tools 12.52 installer package. Now here's a little, little shortcut. You can just drag the package in so, so you don't have to do the path. Now we have to name it and we're just going to call it package. This is going to be a temporary folder we're going to open up so now we're going to open the full package folder in finder and we're going to search for script the script is install underscore utils we're going to open with text edit and to save time just search OS not OD like I typed in and then this whole section this is what checks the installer for the Mac OS so we're just going to delete it and save the package or save the file, sorry. Now we're going to flatten that package. So we're going to use the pkg util command, but we're going to flatten it now. Gonna put a space in there. One space. Flatten command. Now we have to name it. package and I'm going to name it install underscore underscore pro underscore tools underscore 12 underscore 5 underscore 2 important add dot pkg and this takes just a few seconds now here is a screen capture of the commands that we used. You can copy those down or just take a screenshot of it. It's super easy to do. And this makes a proper installer that bypasses everything as far as the system check, system version check. You're not actually modifying the Pro Tools installer at all. You're just modifying that script. So now you open up your home folder and just get rid of that temporary folder called package, delete it, and now we've got the original version and the 
original install version and our package on the right. Now we switched over to, to a different computer. I'm using an old MacBook Air with 4 gigs of RAM. This doesn't even meet the Pro Tools spec of 16 gigs. So just to show you that it really works. Now this is the original installer. We're just going to show you what will happen before the package gets modified. And you can just skip the verification. Now when you install, try to install it from the original Avid installer, you'll just, this will happen and you can't get out of it. It just, it, it locks on the version and says, nope, I'm not going to install it on this version. And you will cancel out of this. And then even this goes to show you, you can, the security and privacy, you, sh you used to be able to change the sandboxing of the Pro Tool of any installer that's not authorized. And now they've gotten rid of it on the last couple of versions of Mac OS. So that's the other reason why we get rid of that whole script is so then it bypasses all of this and it allows us to install Pro Tools. So now this is our modified version. I made a DMG file. And you can see the installer seconds to launch and you're gonna get this warning but just don't worry about it just continue continue again agree and install type in your password and it's installing Pro Tools 12.5.2. And as I said, this takes about five minutes to install. So it's got to go through a few things. So we'll just sped up the video. Now the first launch does take quite a while to do. So it's, it's installing the base plugins, going through all the preferences. It's looking for the drivers for your system and again this is a really like this MacBook Air with 4 gigs of RAM should not work with Pro Tools at all so uh, you're, you're gonna get this error the first time you launch it's no big deal it's just telling you it's not optimized So you don't need to worry about this. It only happens on the first launch of Pro Tools. And then you may or may not get a QuickTime error like this. Because Pro Tools uses QuickTime server. Again, you don't need to worry about it. Unless you're using video or something, it might be a problem. But this is just, we're just worried about audio here if you're using Pro Tools for audio. So. So now it's launched for the first time. There's our dashboard. You can create, there's your different. So now we're gonna launch Pro Tools on the second launch. We're just gonna show you how fast it launches. So far Mojave's pretty snappy. I have a beta version here, so uh, works not too few seconds loading in the plugins now I just have the base plugins installed I have no third-party plugins I've just did this video just to see everything's working I did a Mojave test here so I've got 64 audio tracks here punch them all into record I'm just recording on the internal drive and it works really good so far
Everything's normal. windows here we don't need Gonna add some plugins here. Add 64 channel strips and look how fast that is. That's like amazingly fast on a 2012 MacBook Air. Add in some Bomb Factory compressors. Bang! Fast. Very very fast. There's your system usage window, and it's pretty flat. Again, it's 4 gigs of RAM. I think it's a 1.6 gigahertz processor, or 1.8. It's very slow. window there you go 12.52 on Mojave